what, what would be your recommendation for someone just cracking in to try to start that practice? Okay, so someone who uh, actually starts learning Python as their first programming language. Depending on the type of learner this that certain person is, I would actually take one to three at maximum types of resources that I would focus on for at least a couple of weeks. So let's say that you learn by practicing or you learn you better you you learn the best by actually doing hands-on stuff such as I did. Right now, I would probably suggest uh, one of the resources um, as uh, sololearn.com. I'm serving as a mentor for Coder Dojo in my uh, city. So Coder Dojo is a worldwide organization, a nonprofit organization where we help kids teach themselves coding. So we meet on a regular basis. We don't meet now, given the current situation, but we usually meet once a week uh, on Saturdays for a couple of hours, like three or four hours. And we actually help children teach themselves. We don't actually teach them. We help them teach themselves coding. And I mentor for Python and machine learning. What I'm using, me and my colleague were using with them is sololearn.com. So anyone can use Solo Learn, their mobile app. I think right now they also have a premium version of the app, but you don't need the premium. You can just uh, do very well with the, with the free version of the application. SoloLearn.com, you learn the basics, you learn um, loops, conditional statements, classes, uh, definitions, all the basics, variables, lists, that would be one of the first resources. Another resource, once you finish with Solo Learn, or as you go through Solo Learn, use any of a book or a combination of both, a book and a course. A book because it kind of gives you the structure level or the organization of how to learn a programming language. And there are a lot of good books that talk about, or very good books on Python. One is, I think is Python Crash Course and a course. So I always recommend, and I'm gonna keep on recommending um, uh, the, the course by uh, Dr. Charles Severance or Dr. Chuck as people know him. He teaches on Coursera, but he also has the materials, the videos on YouTube and on his website. Dr. Chuck is a very entertaining professor and he's been very inspiring to me. I actually met him in person in New York a couple of years ago. That actually made me appreciate him even more. We have three types of resources. We have the Solo Learn, which is uh, the platform to actually do hands-on. And then, like I said, uh, the book Python Crash Course, when you become better with Python, you should look into automate the boring stuff with Python. That's another good book. Uh, and then, like I said, I would uh, recommend Dr. Chuck's um, Python Basics course. And of course, once you get a, a good feeling of Python, what I would do to keep my daily practice is I would go to addabit.com which is a, an entirely free platform to practice Python challenges hands-on. And of course, I would work at my own projects. That's how you would advance. Fellas, check out my Python basics course to learn the fundamentals of Python you need in cybersecurity. There's a discount link in the description.